Hi Taylor and Ray. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, tonight is <coughs> produce a little tutorial to show you how to set up the XP. Um, this seems to have worked for me. It's a little cantankerous, but uh, you might have to try it once or twice to get it going. Um, I'm showing first this download page from PI Engineering, which the people who make make the X keys. And you have to, you probably have already done that, is you have to download the MacroWorks 3.1. <coughs> it's about 12.4 meg. Uh, you down, download that to your desktop, and you have to do it to each one of the compute, hardware computers. Uh, you click on it, and it will unzip the files and install the program, and you'll get a um, an icon on, on your desktop. So I'm going to close this uh, web page here. Um, <coughs> If you're looking at the X, picking up the X key uh, stick itself there, you notice that the, at the left hand side there's a little switch, and you probably have already explored this, but um, <coughs> the, uh, the switch when it's, very, when it's closest to the cable in that forward position is program, program mode, and when it's back in the end is the operational mode. So at the moment we want to make sure it's in the operational mode. And then now the next thing we're going to do is plug it into an available USB slot on your helper computer. And you'll notice that uh, you know that the computer recognizes it. There it says here two new device plugged in XK16 stick. And I think there actually are drivers in this macro works program. So um, <coughs> Okay, we've done that. The next thing you do is on the on the X stick is you move that little switch uh, from the operation mode to the programming mode. So you just push that forward, and you'll see that the program will open up the MacWorks program automatically. Mm -hmm. And also, there's a flash screen in front of it <coughs> that uh, asks you what mode to select. And so, it's either software or hardware. We're going to pick the hardware mode. And we're going to cancel this particular thing here. Um, I'm going to expand this. <coughs> and some of these have already been programmed, so what I'm going to do is kind of blank this out here uh, by calling in new. And what you do is you go to the file um, menu there and you hit new. <coughs> and it's going to warn you. It says you're going to lose your other script, but you can do that. So just click yes. And you'll notice that uh, that all of the the buttons go sort of a grayish uh, uh, grayish background. Yours might be completely gray. These particular because I programmed it before are showing errors. But, uh, so once you you hit that new, for, we got to go check back to mode up here and make sure that it's in hardware resident mode. It usually switches back to macro mode. So we're going to click on that. Just again, just to make sure you want to be in hardware resident mode. And so, the next thing we do is we're going to start uh, we're start programming each one of these keys. So you click on the first one. Don't click on it. <coughs> You'll see a um, uh, frame will open up and keystrokes keystroke tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, that's the first key there, we're going to put a 1, we're going to use the computer keyboard, uh, the keys on that, and just hit 1, and save, double click on the second one, 2, save, I'm just going to go through each one of these. Okay, when we get up to nine, we can't put two keystrokes in because then Hallbar's going to say, you know, if you put one O in there, it's going to say, going to look at the first one, and say, well, that's just the number one or whatever you assigned it to, and then whatever zero was assigned to. So just so it's not confusing, we're going to instead of put a number in here, we're going to put 
put an A, lowercase a is okay. B, C, <coughs> D, E, Okay, so we've programmed it what's called a script, and that's now in, that's now in the computer programming. So the next step is to be able to um, to write it to the stick, so you know, so that it goes into the XK16 stick memory. Um, the way to do that is to go over to the file menu, <coughs> and you'll see that half, a little more than halfway down it says write to device. When you click on this, if you, if you look at the little green LED on the actual memory stick, you'll see it starts flashing. So what we've done is we've taken the script and we've, we've written it to the XK16, so now it's, it's resident in the, uh, in, the, in the stick itself. And so this is an unvolatile memory, so you know, once you turn the power off, it's still going to keep those settings there. So um, the next thing we do is uh, <coughs> if we set the, we go back to the XTIC and that gives a little programming, little switch that says program, we switch it to programming back to the, to the operational mode and you'll see that the program, that the uh, MacroWorks program automatically closes. So one way to see if we actually have you know, written these one through nine and A through G is, is to go into little into one of these like word processing programs, and you can go into the Start menu, up to Accessories, <coughs> and click on Notepad, and just start hitting the keys on the X stick there, and you'll notice the reload. So we effectively have have made made this sex stick into sort of a, a small portion of the uh, computer uh, the computer keyboard. So we're going to close this. Let it save. And uh, I'm going to disconnect the USB connection to the X stick, and you'll see in the right hand corner, device is unplugged. So it recognizes it now has been disconnected from it. So the next step is to take it and, well, you, you already have it in uh, your hardware computer. I'm using another computer to do this, so it's easier to, um, to record this. But I'm going to go downstairs and, and show you, you know, how it will auto detect to the uh, um, to hardware. So um, we'll see you in a minute.